It's Fleming to Leon. Sinclair wide open. Is this it? It is! Sinclair has done it! Canadian soccer is on a collision course with destiny. The eyes of the football world will be fixated here, the 2026 World Cup in Canada. How many eyes is that? The 2018 World Cup in Russia attracted over three and a half billion viewers. That's more than 90 times the entire population of Canada. Canadian superstar Alfonso Davies has since burst onto the scene, taking his first steps onto the global stage at Bayern Munich. Canada's soccer reputation is finally on the rise, and the opportunity to cement its status as an elite nation in the sport is building. But the same isn't true of the women's game. We have Christine St. Clair, the greatest international goal scorer of all time, but no domestic league. The sport faces an ongoing uphill battle against outdated thinking and circular logic. The stark reality is that in 2021, Canada has no domestic pro leagues for women in any sport. Women's sports can't grow without serious financial investment. But the argument for no investment? Women's sports don't have an audience. But how can women's sports grow when there's nothing to watch? See the problem here? The financial outlay seen as a necessary investment for men's sports somehow becomes an impractical risk when applied to the women. Combined with the assumption no audience exists and women's sports are in an impossible bind. It's a chicken and egg situation, the status quo being maintained for far too long. But Nick Bontis, the new president of Canada Soccer, is on a mission to break the impasse. In 2007, Toronto FC became Canada's first MLS franchise. Bontis, using TFC as an example, wants to attract private investors to establish a Canadian team in the NWSL. Just like TFC in the early years, a women's franchise could become Canada's team, setting in motion a tidal wave of national interest. Bontis thinks an inaugural team is the doable first step in elevating the women's game, but it still rests on what amounts to a paradigm shift in the Canadian sporting landscape. Like any new club, an NWSL team would require serious and sustained investment from private owners. But those potential owners need to know in advance that proper media coverage and infrastructure will be in place. How can investors be confident of that if the no audience belief persists before a ball has even been kicked? Well, a recent UK study may have settled the score. England's WSL is already a multi-million pound industry. But according to the study, elite women's soccer in the UK has the potential to reach £1 billion in revenue by the end of the decade. That would make women's soccer one of the fastest growing sectors in the sports industry. And according to the study, what is the single most important factor in that growth? You guessed it. Increased visibility of female athletes and teams. The main thing Canadian women's soccer needs is the main thing it lacks, visibility. If you can't see it, you can't be it. If it isn't on their screens, it can't be in their dreams. That crucial lack of visibility massively impacts the development of Canadian athletes. Our best players are either not playing at all or have to play in foreign leagues. But with domestic players always taking precedence over foreign imports, young talents like Jesse Fleming spend much of the season on the bench. If Canada had a domestic women's league or even a single team, our best young players would have the opportunities to start, ultimately impacting the long-term success of the national team as well. So something finally has to give, to break out of the circular logic and to end the chicken and egg debate. A shift in consciousness to get Canadian women's sports out of the dark ages might be what's needed. If Bontis can bring an NWSL team to Canada by the time the 2026 World Cup arrives, then women's soccer will have its trampoline for that national and international attention. But if the competition comes and goes with little to show for the women's game, will the sport ever have the opportunity again? <laughs>